الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الحمد في الله the question was posed what is your fit your position regarding the fitna of the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم and the answer to that is what the Salaf of this Ummah said regarding the fitna of the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een and that is that we believe as Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah that the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the fitna the fighting that occurred between them that we don't speak on that issue and that those from amongst them who were correct in their ijtihad were rewarded with two rewards and those who were incorrect with regards to their ijtihad were regarded, regarded with uh, rewarded with uh, one reward and our position is a position that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored them and is pleased with them and we are pleased with them radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa sabakuna al-awwalun min al-muhajirin wa al-ansar wa al-ladhina tabuhum bi ihsan radiyallahu ta'ala anhum wa radu'an wa adda lahum jannatin tajri tahtiha al-anhar khalidina fiha abada thalika al-fawz al-azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Tawbah and the first from the the first from amongst them from the muhajireen wal ansar from the muhajireen meaning those people those sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum who made hijra from Mecca to Medina and the Ansar were those Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum who accepted and had the suhbah and received the muhajireen radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ and those who follow them in righteousness radiallahu anhum and Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him and he has prepared for them paradise under which uh, rivers flow therein they will dwell in forever and that is the great success and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all throughout his ahadith mentions the fadl or the fada'il of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said khayran nas qarni thumma alladheena yalunuhum thumma alladheena yalunuhum the Prophet Sallallahu said, the best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is evidence, Ahabatifillah, of the fadl of the Sahaba and the fadl of the Salaf, Salaf al -Salih. And that the Sahaba were the ru'us of the Salaf. They were the, the uh, beginning and the main body of the Salaf. They are the main body of Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah they are Ahlul Sunnah they are the head of Ahlul Sunnah after Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam bore witness to their father so we bear witness to their father and likewise the as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Khayra Nasqarni so the Prophet said, the best people is my generation, meaning the Sahaba, then those who follow them, which is the Tabi'een, and the Itba'a Tabi'een, Rahimahumullah Jami'ah. And the Prophet said, La tusubu ashabi, falo enna ahadakum anfak mithlu uhud adhahabin. مَا بَلَغَ مُدَّ أَحَدَهُمْ وَلَا نُصِيفُهُ مُتَفَقُنْ عَلَيْهِ The Prophet ﷺ said, Do not curse my companions. For verily if one of you had spent in his weight of gold to the level of Mount Uhud, it would not even be a mud, which is a type of measurement. 
like a, uh, I believe it's the three palms worth, uh, or even half of that of what the Sahaba spent. Meaning there's no comparison between uh, the latter generations and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum in fadl. And this is due to their sahba, to their companionship, uh, and being the sahabakun, the first to spin, and the first to make hijrah, and the first to make jihad, and the first to do all those righteous deeds from this ummah, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. Ruha Abu Dawood al-Tayrasi, rahimahullah ta'ala, an ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, inna allaha yan, inna allaha nadra fi qulub al-ibad, fa wajida qalb Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khayra qulub al-ibad, فبعثه برسالته ثم نظر في قلوب العباد بعد قلب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فوجد قلوب أصحابه خير قلوب العباد فاختارهم لصحبة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ونصرة دينه. So Abu Dawood reported, رحمه الله تعالى, that Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه said that Allah looked to the hearts of His servants. And he found that the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the best of the hearts of the servants, and he sent him with his message, or then he sent him with his message, meaning the message of the Quran and his Sunnah. Uh, then he looked to the hearts of his servants after the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he found that the hearts of his companions were the best hearts of his servants. So he chose them to have companionship with, with his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to assist him in his religion. Ruahu Imam Ahmed an Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal man kana mutaassiyan fal yataassa bi ashab rasulillah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fa innahum kanu abarra hadhihi al-umma quluban wa a'maqaha ilman wa aqallaha tukallifan وأقومها هديا وأسنها حالا قوم اختارهم الله لصحبة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وإقامة دينته دينه فأعرفوا لهم فضلهم واتباعهم آثرهم فإنهم كانوا على هدي المستقيم إمام أحمد reported that Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه said that whoever wishes to follow uh, and establish guidance, then they should follow the guidance of the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For verily, they were the most pious of the Ummah in their hearts. And they were the most, they had the most profound knowledge, the most in-depth knowledge. And they were the least uh, uh, of those falling short and they were the strongest in guidance and they were the best in status and they were a people who Allah chose to have companionship with his pro uh, with his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to establish his religion so know their fadl their their status and follow them in their sunnah for verily, they were upon uh, pure, straight guidance. So, Alhamdulillah, this lets us know what our position is regarding the fitna of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, and the Sahaba in general, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. And I'll end with this statement of Imam uh, At-Tahawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, which sums up for us what our position with the Sahaba, regarding the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een was or is and what the position of the Salaf was and that you will find in the books of Aqidah these same types of statements, countless statements and chapters entitled the, the chapters uh, of the benefits of the Sahaba or the merits of the Sahaba or the righteousness and taqwa of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and he said, and we love the companions of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we do not go beyond the due limits in love of any one of them. We do not disown and free ourselves from any one of them. And we hate whoever hates them. And we hate whoever mentions them with other than good. 
and we do not mention them except with good. And love of them is religion, deen, and it is true iman, and it is goodness, ihsan, and hatred of them is unbelief, kufr, hypocrisy, nifaq, and transgression, tughiyan. And that is our motive and our position with regards to the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man yara min, uh, wa man yara minkum munka, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that من يعيش منكم بعد فسيرى اختلاف كثيرا فعليكم بسنة وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, whoever lives long or lives after me will see many differences as we see today. So it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat, and this means uh, Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. And that we should adhere to it or uh, bite onto it with our molar teeth. That means severely hold on to that sunnah and their sunnah. And the Prophet وسلم, said in another hadith, in the hadith iftiraq, uh, iftarakat al yahud al ita wa sab'in firqa, wa iftarakat al nasara al ithnatain wa sab'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma la thalatha wa sab'in firqa, kullaha fin nar al wahida, kulla man yeh ya Rasulullah, kala man kana ala mithu wa ma kana ashabi. The Prophet وسلم, said <coughs> that uh, after mentioning that the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, the Christians in the 72 sects, and my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them are fire, in the fire except one. And then they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So success comes with following the sunnah of the companions in that which they did which was in accordance with the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.